Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Passport 175BH. This is a great short little lightweight bunk model. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit easier to tow and you don't want to have to worry about any slides, this is one to certainly pay attention to. We'll start over here on the kitchen. So one thing that's nice, especially in a lighter weight model like this, is the fact that you have upgraded countertops. They're the seamless style countertop instead of T-mold, so that way you don't have to worry about the ends or anything popping off. Also, when you have the seamless countertop, it allows you to undermount the sink. That way you can have kind of the flush sink top cover. Now, bear in mind this one does have a little bit of antifreeze on here because this one has been winterized. Normally, of course, it's a lot cleaner. But when you flip this over, you can use this as a cutting board. And if you take a look there, you'll see the undermount stainless steel sink. So nice big sink. Uh, that way, if you have some larger, you know, residential pots and pans, you can fit them down in there. Not only that, but you'll also see you have a high-rise pull-out faucet. Again, in an RV this size, that is very rare to have the pull-out. A lot of times for one of the manufacturers, you know, help take a little bit of money out to just do a normal faucet. I personally really like the pull out. It really simplifies doing dishes. And if you have like a coffee maker, you can just take that and fill up the little, uh, little pot or reservoir, whatever it may be. Again, it just makes life a little simpler. Over to the side is your three burner cooktop with the glass cover, giving you that additional prep space as well. This folds up and back like so. Uh, you'll see the light here, so the knobs light up, just an added look, and you have an oven underneath. This same switch controls the light in the oven as well. Right underneath the sink, we'll open this up, take a look at the storage. You see you have three large storage compartments there. Well, this one's kind of one up top, I guess. Second one down below. And you have two fully finished, full extension ball bearing drawers there for your flatware and whatever else you need to put in. Uh, right underneath, I do actually want to show you this. You have some switches right here for your inside lights as well as your outside LED lights. This one does have a power awning, and that's where the control for that is at. LED light right there. And over to this side is the multimedia center. And you will see this one does have a USB as well as HDMI input. It is Bluetooth capable. And you will see the speaker controls. Uh, that way you can use uh, control the speakers inside, outside, or both at the same time. Coming right around the side is the TV, so that, you know, it normally kind of faces the dinette. Now this is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to swing it around so you're able to uh, view it from the bed, you can certainly do that too. And then there is uh, kind of open storage back here. It's where all of your cables are for your TV, but, you know, you can do some decent cable management in there and get some added storage for DVDs or whatever else. You know, if you need auxiliary equipment, you can throw it in there. Uh, you'll see the microwave right up top, your fully functional hood with the light and fan right underneath. And over to the side is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. I'll open that up so you can take a look inside here. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. In the very back is the bathroom, mirrored medicine cabinet right up top with some storage in there. I'll take a seat on the toilet here just to kind of show you, uh, give you an idea of the space. So as I'm sitting here with the door closed, it is a little tight on the left leg. Personally, you know, you kind of have to, you know, I don't know, either do like a spread eagle or <laughs> move the uh, leg over to the side or something. Uh, but it, it is still manageable. You know, I, I could definitely do what you need to do in here. Uh, you have an electrical outlet right there. I, I'm not 100% certain why you would need it because, the, you know, you don't have a sink in here. The main sink, of course, would be out in the kitchen. Uh, but if you need to plug anything in, you have the capability to do it. Vent fan right up top above you, right where you need it. Over to this side is the tub shower. Now, again, this one has antifreeze in here. We just got it from the manufacturer. I'll take a step in here just uh, to kind of give you an idea of height. So I'm six foot. If I fully extend, I am hitting the ceiling there. With the skylight center, that skylight, you can probably be 6'1", six, 6'2", six, something like that without having to bend down. Of course, it is a tub, so if you have smaller kids, it is a lot easier to give them a bath. Uh, if we take a step out, we'll take a look right over here to the side. You can see the double bunks, 300 pound weight capacity on here on the bunks. Uh, I will sneak into this bottom bunk just to kind of give you an idea of size. So if I lay down, I'll put my feet against the wall. As you can see here, I have a little bit of space uh, uh, for my head. Again, I'm six foot. So if you were, you know, want to put an adult in here at six one, that's not a problem. As I mentioned, they can support 300 pounds. So if it's, you know, an adult weekend away, you can accommodate extra people. LED light up top. You have another one down below. Window up top. That is an emergency exit, by the way. And, of course, we have the door down below. I'll kind of show you how that works when we go outside. Basically, you can turn that whole bottom area into a big storage space. 
Your dinette is located here. Plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit, have a meal together, play a game together. This also drops down into a bed. Uh, you know, it doesn't make a huge bed, but it, it is some additional sleeping space. Now, it may not look quite as nice as the ones where you have the pedestal and the flange and the table and floor, but it is very sturdy. You can see here, you know, it hardly rocks, so that uh, definitely has its uh, added benefit there. Big window there for natural light. Storage all the way across the top. It is kind of like a white out the uh, tint they put on the glass. A couple more things I do want to point out on this wall. This is your tank monitoring panel as well as your water heater controls. The water heater does run off both electric and propane. You can turn on both those at the same time for faster recovery. Thermostat over to the side controls only your heat. The AC, roof mounted AC unit is here, but the controls uh, for that are on it. And lastly, if you want, uh, uh, LTE Wi-Fi or cellular internet, you do have the capability to get that. It is an additional service that you will have to pay monthly depending on the provider. Right up in the very front is the bed. Uh, it does have storage underneath. You'll also see an electrical outlet right down to the side. Uh, you have a nightstand here. Mirrored uh, wardrobe right there with the hanging rod going across. Shelf up top. Another large shelf here again just for the sake of continuity and to kind of show you the size of the bed. As I mentioned, I am six foot. If I scoot down right about here where the pillow will be, you know, my feet are kind of right at the edge, but not hanging off. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Passport 175 BH. Right up front are your two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. You have your rails for your battery right behind that. And on the frame, you will see solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. You also see the diamond etch plating here on the front to help protect the front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If you take a look right down below, you will also see this one has a fully enclosed, insulated and heated underbelly. So as long as you're running the furnace, it's putting that hot air down in the, uh, the, under, the underbelly there. So that way it's helping to prevent your tanks and lines from freezing up on you. That's a pretty big deal on a smaller lightweight camper like this. You generally don't get that. So always keep that in mind. If you're looking for a lighter RV and you're planning on doing, you know, some camping later in the fall, early in the spring, when temperatures start to dip, you know, a little bit below freezing, that can be a game changer. For the pass through, you will notice this one does have a covered hinge so that we don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also magnetic. So that way the kids don't come and, you know, slam this down and break the plastic latch. And if you take a look inside, you'll see how nice and big this actually is. Again, very large pass through here, especially for the size of the camper. You will see that this one does have the aluminum framing as it's a fully laminated product. You will notice the uh, light right there. That one is a motion sensor. So you can set it to that motion setting. That way, as soon as you open the door, obviously if it's night out, the light will turn on for you. Right over here is your power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. And there's an LED light strip underneath for light at night. Underneath that are your two outside speakers. And as I mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. Two foldable steps to get in this camper, as well as the little grab handle here, just for some added control when you are entering the RV. And right over to the side is the black tank flush. This is a great feature to have. So rather than having to stick a hose down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you just stick the hose in right there. The black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Aluminum alloy wheels on this one. They're absolutely gorgeous and they will stay looking nice for years to come because aluminum doesn't rust. And electrical outlet right outside there in case you need to plug anything in. Coming around to the back side, you'll notice the spare tire located here. Uh, makes it nice and easy to access. Hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, again, you don't have to get down on your hands and knees. And because this one doesn't have a bumper, this is where your sewer hose will be stored. Coming around to this side, so as I mentioned, this is the door. Now, one thing I do have people ask about is uh, essentially security. Now, this has a deadbolt on here, folks. So you can deadbolt this so nobody can open this door when your children are sleeping. They are 100% secure. Now, the reason that you want this is for the additional storage. When you open that up, you will see a handle as well as struts. This bed just, uh, it is strut supported, goes up just like that, and you get all this extra storage space during travel, which is awesome. It really gives you a ton of extra space there. Empty it out when you get to your destination, pull that bunk back down, and you are good to go. 
making our way up a little bit further. This is the inlet for the key TV. So you'll put your cable and or satellite, plug it right into there. That will feed to the TV inside. 30 amp power cord is housed there. And lastly, outside shower with hot and cold water access and directly above that are your water inlets, fresh tank fill up front and city water inlet directly behind it. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Keystone Passport 175BH. If you're interested in this short little bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.